let's see how does it look like so once we have opened it so as you can see the diagram came up right so in the diagram as you can see the pointing the function is pointing if you zoom it over there so it is like spider vein type way so it is uh, like giving the command to different different and see the functions are there different different so if you select the function you will uh, see the changes over here in the left side right uh, LF functions variables so what the functions is working for and defined this way you can identify what are the things you need to uh, reverse engineering yeah, So welcome guys so now we are going to see in this video the reverse engineering process of firmware file which we have extracted from the pcb in the previous video and we have uh, analyzed all the things like data shared and what are the linux command files everything we have checked it till now and now in this video we are going to see a reverse engineering process using a gidra okay so the as you can see the uh, gidra software which you can see here is look like this one so now let's have start with the gidra so the first thing is that we are going to start with the new project in the new project the non shared project will be there so the next and we are going to give the uh, file name as a philips and uh, something like uh, camera uh, uh, underscore cam so let's start with it so uh, whenever you are uploading some files like the binary file or any other files which you are going to analyze it so they will be asked for the architectures and the processor so for that i am going to show you how you can uh, like uh, give a trick to identify it okay so let's upload the files so the import file is there and batch, imp uh, batch import is there so we have in the previous video we have a uh, binary file we have extracted using the binwalk command and then all the file systems which the extracted which also we have so for that batch import is like we are like importing many files at a time right so let's uh, like import the batch import so first we are going to see the batch import which you can see here is the philips firmware file is there bin, bin file and then rest all of them are of extracted right once we open it we can see all of the file at once right so let's select all of them uh, and then uh, analyze it so we are adding up all the files right so all the files in the extracted is going to be added here and also what it do is like it uh, like sensibly do master like as you can see in the language the language which we are going to select is like nothing they are showing but sometimes they are showing like which uh, like language where we are working on like the processors the chipset and then everything the flash chips which we have dumped it so they are all are working in the arm arm processor is there and the architectures arm and li little indian is the uh, they are using and 32 v8 default settings they are using so remember these things we are going to use it with the binary file which we are dumped it from the uh, chipset right so we have to remember this thing and we have to put it into the uh, the files which when we are uh, like import that file right now we are not importing that file only we are importing its extracted file systems okay remember this one arm little indian 32 v8 default okay let's add them and then okay so it will going to imported all of the files which it detected like uh, which need to be like a decompiler and we need to analyze it all of them are they are like putting into here and also the one thing is remaining is the main binary file which we have extracted used from the chipset using the cs341 a programmer so once it uh, like loading the uh, batch import because batch import is like all of the possible file so which we are going to disassemble so they are uh, like putting here so the batch import is completed imported 40 files till now so now the only one file is remaining is the main thing so let's import it not batch import only the import thing has happened now so now select the firmware file which we are going to like uh, import and once we have selected just import it and then now we can see the uh, like prompt comes for the select language so also the raw binary file is here language is unknown till now but we already know it because the batch import has done little indian arm v8 and default setting right so we are going to select that one from here and then uh, we have given the destination folder program file 
and let what what this is like the i button so supported formats like whenever we are uh, like uh, connecting with the addresses or the formats which we are going to select like binary debugging symbols these are all the things which are supported by the uh, this uh, gidra and the language when we are selected so we already remember the arm processor was there right the processor this is the processor which we are going to select variant size indian so indian we already remember this little indian and compiler so once we have select the arm processor so let's hit the enter and let's search for the variant is v8 right you remember so we have v8 but it's indian is big indian right but we are going to select it for the little indian so let's scroll it down and let's search for v8 again and then again the two v8 came right but one uh, which one is ours right so v8 32 little indian default version was there right not the visual studio so that's why we are selecting this one and once we have okay so the language came here as similar as the base import one done so let's okay it and the file systems which were the minimum address maximum address all of them are mentioned over here okay and then number of bytes like the 16 m 16 mb firmware was there so everything is mentioned here and once we have imported so as you can see if you can expand this one the extracted file systems you can see the various file systems over here which we can analyze differently one by one so we are not going to like analyze all of them we are just going to see the main firmware file which one is here right this is this one is the main firmware file and you need to analyze for this also because all of them are consist of something something different okay all of them are different different uh, categories firmware okay so if you explore it this squarefs file also so we'll find it out everything here right and in the sky eye we have searched it in the last video that what was there everything so if you want to uh, uncover the password and everything so you need to analyze all of them at once so that's why you can get some possible uh, scenarios right so all of the files are the uh, uh, this analyzing file only so we are going to select this firmware file and we are going to analyze it so for the analyzing part we need to click or double or uh, double click on there or else we just need to code browser over here so we are going to double click over here so it will directly open it and once it get open it will ask for the analyzing purpose so if you want to analyze it see it asks for the analyze purpose would you like to analyze it now right yes we would like to analyze this because as you can see all the firmware file in the gidra interface we can see the empty file right as an empty for now so let's open it and see how we are going to analyze it so for that uh, yes and then there are the analyzer enablers what we are going to see decompiler parameter id in everything is there right so for now we are going to analyze as a default one analyze and as you can see in the arrow bar the below one uh, you will see find it out let me show you properly so that you can see it properly here as you can see in the below the bar one is bar is running right again and again and some files are coming in uh, in the main interface also right listings they are listing again and again so these are all the things which the file has the 16 mb file has so in all of them there will be a like uh, there can be a buffer overflow hard coded credentials or any, any of the like uh like unsafe functions so these are all the things it contain of right so we need to analyze each of them one by one and also there are the functions in that functions there are multiple files that we need to extra uh, we need to analyze it whether which files are directed and which code are running so as you can see in the middle there is uh, uh, the code which are using for the binary purpose and uh, we can convert it to the c code also i'll show you in the meantime so yeah so the analyzing part everything is done right now right everything is completed now as you can see the decompiler rest is there so in that you can see the c code if and halt data everything is there in the in the middle one as you can see the binary data and everything is there right and so as you can see and then in the left side uh, the symbol tree there is a functions each function is denoted with the c different different c code so you will going to see every of them so while expanding the f also like we can see so there are multiple files see for in files inside files right 
so each of them as you can see in the i'll show you expanding by c code so as you can see the c code the coprocessor everything everything is different different so every files has a different command so you need to analyze each of them uh, like differently so that you will you need to see the, uh, the files inside files inside files there are multiple files inside of it so you need to analyze each of them uh, one by one and uh, there are lots of files as you can see these are more files and after than that you can see there are variables so these are all the functions which uh, you can see here and uh, once we have done with the functions identifications we can search for the strings also as you can see in the all blocks search for the strings as you can see in the strings command the previously we have searched it on the linux and now we are searching it on here so as you can see in this uh, linux command so multiple uh, like strings whatever the possible uh, strings are there so the port rate everything is here is encrypted they are uh, by uh, by uh, by fiction, right and uh, bd information sprint uh, performs they have by uh, by uh, fiction it all the things and even encrypted the, the things okay start applications address fast boot cmd so everything is there but they have encrypted all the all of them because of that the safety is good thing and boot uh, but the everything is there so we can see each and every naming of them but not the actual path of it right so these are all the things which we can see and even the base 64 is there so once if you want to search for the base 64 let's take an example for the auth author authorization keys there so let's copy it so once you copy it some paste it somewhere else here and then after than that uh let's uh, like analyze it with using the uh, echo uh, like echo base 64 command is there so let's analyze it with that so that we can actually get it uh, like what exactly the uh, they are uh, like they are saying to us if we have search it now let's go for the uh, this uh, terminal and then let's search for the echo and then whatever the base 64 code is there and then base 64 decode as you can see here i have pasted the uh, base 64 command and let's hit the enter as you can see again the uh, gibberish data cans which is non readable format which is very higher encryption level so they are mentioning that base 64 they are also encrypted level okay not in encrypted human readable format so all of the things are there as you can see in the strings and once the strings done so let's go back to strings once again so these are the all the strings and also if you want to proceed with the something like references like if you see something like uh, vulnerable or something like if you see the naming of it so you can go for the references in the use of strings in mean times you can see the u boot and everything the how they are using the strings uh, regarding that all the things okay these are all the things which they are mentioning over here and along with that we can also analyze like the graphs in the graphical method so as you can see in the graph method uh, if you go for the isolated entry multiple entry overlap partitions all of the different different categories are there so let's go for the isolated so let's see how does it look like so once we have open it so as you can see the diagram came up right so in the diagram as you can see the pointing the function is pointing so if you zoom it over there so it is like spider way in type way so it is uh, like giving the command to different different and see the functions are there different different so if you select the function you will uh, see the changes over here in the left side right uh, all the functions variables so what the functions is working for and defined this way you can identify what are the things you need to uh, reverse engineer actually okay so this is the the things which we are going to search for it and for now the whole firmware is encrypted levels and even uh, none of uh, none, none of the things which we are going to see here as a unsafe function or anything like that so in the memory map also as you can see there are nothing uh, that we can uh, map towards the binaries or anything in the search button also if you can see the encoded strings so you will find it out no string matched for criteria right so if you can search for base 64 utf so these are all the things which you can identify here and after than that you can analyze 
whatever the file systems uh, they are mentioning to okay so this is the whole firmware file and everything is there regarding this thing so for now we have learned how to analyze the firmware in Gidra by doing the reverse engineering mapping strings files function and the map like how does we go through the map these are all the things and the references how we are going to analyze the references so that if we have the password file and then buffer overflow or something and say functions then we can go uh, one by one let's see see here uh, if you have an uh, like bigger functions then if you want to search like uh, pu22 so then go for the references commit everything is there so rename variables retype variables edit function signatures everything is there if you want to search everything then you can do everything here by doing the reverse engineering decompiler mode so this is the reverse engineering process of firmware which we have extracted from the pcb which is of uh, camera of uh, philips this one we have done the reverse engineering on this so this similar things you can apply to your home appliances or you can analyze or you can use this data to uh, for research or for doing the reverse engineering of any products whichever you want though this is the path lines of how you are going to analyze something comes up and also this is not for an exploit this is just for an educational purpose and also if you are a researcher you are going to learn something bigger and bigger so this is for you and not for the exploit or not for hacking purpose this is for just a reminder that uh, uh, how we are going to analyze and build a society as a safer right so this is it and if you uh, if you want me to uh, like do something else also on the other devices let me know in the comment sections i'll definitely go for that devices also for the reverse engineering whole process i'll explain you i'll guide you and i'll drop a video on that also so till then that uh, uh, make sure that you are doing for ethical purpose and you are at a good health and you are take care of yourself in your family and uh, thank you so much for uh, your guidance thank you guys bye bye yeah,